excited for today's Tuesday talk. We're live on location with Buddy Fleming. Oh, I'm so I'm so excited to talk to you. But let me just tell everybody who's watching who you are. Buddy Fleming is a luxury real estate specialist and the director of Keller Williams Luxury Bermuda. With over 10 years experience, Buddy has a true understanding of the high-end buyer and their needs. In his former life, before real estate, Buddy spent 16 years in luxury hospitality working for such brands as Rosewood and Relay Chateau. He believes in order to sell luxury, you must understand all things luxury. So Buddy spends much of his time striving to be the luxury expert, both locally and internationally. He is a passionate people person and has an established networks of buyers and sellers, both locally and internationally. His relationships are built on a foundation of trust, communication, and developing into long-lasting partnerships. So welcome, Buddy. I'm so excited to have you on. Oh, Christine, thank you so much. I'm humbled by the invitation, really. Thank you. Oh, my God. It's my pleasure. So first of all, how's the weather? Oh, well, um, I tell you what, so this week has been absolutely fantastic. Um, the weather is absolutely feeling like summer is just around the corner, which is wonderful. Today is probably a little bit overcast, but as they say in Bermuda, wait five minutes, your weather will change. So I'm sure in a couple of minutes it will pass through our area and back to sunny, be beautiful blue skies. <laughs> oh, how fabulous. And how long have you lived there? Oh, goodness. So I know I don't sound it, um, although I'm not too sure what a Bermudian should sound like, but I am Bermudian. So I was born in Bermuda, but wow. I spent the first 10 years of my life in New Zealand, although I do not sound like a Kiwi anymore either. So <laughs> this is my 46th year. So I have been back home in Bermuda for, I guess, oh my gosh, you know, 36 years or so, 36 years right, or so. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, it's just such a pleasure. So how is the real estate market there? Tell us about that. Yeah, thank you so much. It, you know what? It really is, by the way, um, it's just as exciting as it has been over the last couple of years. And, you know, in, in attending the family reunion down in Anaheim this year, you know, I understand that the, the theme was, you know, sort of how to behave in sort of a shifting market. Um, and I understand right. that we're seeing that, you know, in the U.S. is this 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 small shift in certain areas. I got to say, we have not and have yet to feel that here in Bermuda. The energy is still really, really strong. It is still very much a seller's market um, for sure. You know, we have a ton and ton and ton of buyers at the moment that we are just desperately seeking, you know, the right accommodation for them, but it could not be more exciting. So, and we have been experiencing this really, I think along with the rest of the world, it's been a very global sort of behavior. Um, I remember when shelter in place hit me here in Bermuda, I kind of thought, well, I hope I'm good at something else because right. there goes right. real estate. <laughs> Exactly. How wrong I was, how wrong I was. Uh, and thankfully, thankfully, how wrong I was. I mean, you know, I think that we all, I, I, I did what many, many other agents were doing and just double down and really, you know, get as much into the day as you possibly could while you were doing, you know, nothing much, much else. And, and we actually sold in the middle of shelter in place. So, you know, it's been an exciting three years. It really has. How great. So where to most of the people who live on Bermuda, where are they coming from? Sure. Well, you know, if you're not Bermudian and you're buying uh, property from outside of the um, uh, outside of Bermuda, you know, I I tend to think that uh, that our our uh, market comes really from the Northeast United States. Yeah, you know, I would guess. Boston, yep. Sure. Absolutely. And you know, even Canada. Um, we right. have a very big influx or, or a very large Canadian community here as well. And listen, I mean, the rest of the world is not immune to that as well. You know, we, we have quite a few uh, folks from the UK, uh, from Germany, from different parts of, the, of, of that side of the world as well. But, you know, mainly I got to say it, it, it's the Northeast United States is where sort of our, our, our buyers tend to, to gravitate from. Yeah, interesting. Very interesting. So from New York. What is it, a two-hour flight? And are there daily flights? Is it easy to get there? There really are. And absolutely. And thanks for asking that question, because, you know, I think that there's definitely been 
you know, a lot of uh, a lot of change, you know, through through COVID. COVID has affected the world, obviously, and you know we're not immune to it. And so flights have been uh, a little bit more challenged. But you know, I'm so excited to say that we're just we're gearing right back into that old behavior of daily flights uh, from you know the the the, the main cities. Um, we do have a daily from New York City. We do have um, uh, twice weekly from Boston, uh, Philadelphia, Charlotte. We uh, had a daily as well from Miami and all of that that travel that maybe, you know, there weren't so many flights or things were cut down a little bit over the last couple of years. We're, we're gearing right back into that really busy, busy time. So flights are actually loading into the program, which is wonderful. So we're getting much more uh, much more daily access uh, than we'd had that's, in the last couple of years. That's fabulous. So are you pretty seasonal? Like is summer your big season because it's just a little too cold to vacation there in the winter months or give us kind of the background on that? Yeah, you know, I think it all depends on what you're climatized to, for sure. I mean, the summer right. here is absolutely just unbelievable. And although we're not part of the Caribbean, we do experience those Caribbean highs, you know, so really from May through to October, I mean, it is prime travel, you know, everybody's trying to get down here. But, you know, again, it's it's really what you're climatized to. Listen, I have friends from Canada who come down in January and go swimming. So, you know, it's, right. it's, it's really all of what you're used to. Um, and we promote Bermuda as a golf and spa location in the winter months when, you know, there's not that wonderful beach and boating activity, um, you know, going on. We definitely still promote it as, please, come on down. Listen, it's not snowing, if anything else. <laughs> right, right, exactly. That, that's the good news. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and are there, I mean, there must be a plethora of golf courses down there. It must be a golf person's heaven, right? Oh, for sure. And in fact, you know, I was lucky enough to uh, to attend and sponsor as well uh, the Bermuda Championship. Um, last year in October, which was wonderful. Our Keller Williams Market Center here uh, became a corporate sponsor. And so I have to oh, say please. that golf is probably not the way that Buddy Fleming spends an afternoon, but you know, I right. understand its attraction and we do have some of the world's most fantastic golf courses. And so, you know, that's a good example to say how internationally recognized our golf courses mm -hmm. are is that they thought it the perfect location to hope something to hold something i'm sorry like you know the pga championship is is quite the event in the golfing world so we're very very honored to be their preferred location and i understand as well that we are uh to expect their return as well this year so thank goodness for that oh, great yeah. how oh, great do you think you guys are going to sponsor it again oh absolutely yeah absolutely oh, it was a fantastic event and more than anything i tell you the food was fantastic it was wonderful but you know what they had valet parking i mean you know this just makes me feel like quite a celebrity so <laughs> it's the little things it was fantastic yeah absolutely it certainly is a surprise and delights right yes absolutely and i take it it's a huge sailing community as well i'm sorry uh, sailing, lots of sailing going on. Oh, absolutely. Yachting. Yes. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. And in fact, you know, um, one of the my more favorite things to see as well is not just some of the, the wonderful sailing and the the um, the tall ships uh, come to Bermuda, but as well, you know, at any given time in the season, you know, from now until the end of October, you know, you'll see quite a few wonderful luxury crafts as well in the water. Right. And they just... They just kind of take your breath away. And of course, you know, sort of those of us that sit on the side kind of like, oh, one day, you know, we'll be able to do that. <laughs> yes, yes, exactly, exactly. So what is your favorite thing to do on, on Bermuda? Oh, I think, you know, much like the rest of the island, you know, I got to say, we're about to, and listen, we're gearing up for this 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 wonderful warm weather and, you know, for the, the water to be, uh, you know, listen, as Bermudian, you do not find us in the water before the 24th of May. But, you know, <laughs> so it, it's really one of our favorite things to do. And I have to say, we live, are so blessed and lucky to live right across the street from an adorable little beach, actually, um, oh, out here in St. George's. So it is just our favorite thing to do, you know, 
you finish out your day, we both come home, you know, and seven o'clock, you know, we're in the water, absolutely, for about an hour or so. And it's just an incredible way to get the day off of you to relieve any stresses that you may have had that day. And what better place to do it in the water? And it's just, and it's great. It's our little time as well. You know, we kind of catch up with each other. And and so, hey, how's your day going? <laughs> absolutely, <laughs> so it is that's so, great. Just our favorite thing to do. Yeah. And is the water similar to the Bahamas? Like, is it that kind of clear water or not as much? Absolutely. You'll be able to see your feet. So yes, okay. yeah, you yeah. really do. And you know, you can kind of tell the sort of deep to the shallow areas because, you know, obviously the, the color of the water just gets a little bit more, um, uh, I guess, clearer and see-through, you know, the shallower it is. Um, right. And then you can see that beautiful white sand at the bottom. And then, you know, typically the sort of the more deeper blues are a little bit deeper, you know, but so those shallow areas, the reason why I say that is because, you know, listen, even if you're just noticing them as you're driving past, you know, they're, they're probably nice enough for you to be able to go in and, and have a quick little swim and be able to touch the bottom. So go for it. But yeah, right. it really right. is. It really is just absolutely magical waters crystal clear blue oh, and our pink sand. Yeah. Uh, yeah, which sounds amazing. My sister actually just got back. She loved it. How big is the island? How many square miles or so is it? Sure, yeah, we're 26 square miles in okay. total. And our population is about 65, 67,000 people. Um, so, okay, you know, well. Th yeah. And, and so tell us like what will a million dollars buy for somebody? Sure. And, you know, and, and, and I understand, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm part of several, you know, mastermind groups as well. And, and I think that, you know, sort of um, uh, real estate pricing is very relative, you know, to whichever area absolutely. or country. Which, ab absolutely. So, you know, in Bermuda, the cost of living is quite high. Um, you know, we do not have have poverty here in Bermuda. So, you know, it's a very incredibly pristine and, and, and affluent place. And, you know, so because of that, absolutely, our real estate is is typically a little bit higher. Um, you know, so really a million dollars, we would say, is probably a start off uh, start off right. property for you right. here. Um, you know, but that's not to say that you cannot purchase in the six, seven, eight hundred dollar range, you know, for uh, condominiums. Um, right. You know, there are also uh, uh, products that are zoned tourism, which mean basically that they're inside the, um, the boundaries of a tourism uh, property. Um, they have uh, different rules and regulations, but you can also, you know, that this is where fractional properties uh, uh, typically live in Bermuda. So fractional is fantastic. It's a wonderful way to own property in Bermuda without a $5 million price tag. And you know, right. fractions, you can, they start at the $200,000 range, 200,000, 300,000 for a three bedroom, around 400,000 for a four. Um, and, you know, they come with an HOA fee that is paid quarterly. Right. Um, but, you know, the rule of thumb is if it's available, come down and use it. So, you know, you get a lot of flexibility with that. Um, and I know people sort of often hear fractional, they think quite restrictive, but, you know, it really is. I mean, if you can spread out your time all over the calendar and not just look at maybe one month of the year, you know, you'll be very, very happy with purchasing at that product as well. So although a million dollars is, you know, kind of where we say would get you a nice little start off, you know, residential property on your own, maybe a little bit of yard around it. Um, you know, it doesn't mean that you cannot purchase for less than, than that as well. Right. I'm so glad you brought up the fractional properties that those have really, you know, gone to new heights in the last couple years. And it's a great option. Yeah, it really is. And, you know, I, I appreciate it, Christine, because, you know, what I frequently hear as well, you know, and, and, and it's quite disappointing because, you know, you don't want to, uh, you know, anyone to think that they cannot own property here. Um, right. And what I love about, you know, fractions is that it's made it a little bit more, you know, accessible. Um, you know, for those that do not have, you know, millions and millions of dollars. But, you know, I right. get the question quite often, you know, oh, um, buddy, I'm so, so, you know, I, I'm not from here, which means I can't buy property. And oh, my gosh, how untrue that is. You know, any. You any talk person, to us about that. Yeah, really. I mean, anyone in the world can buy property here in Bermuda. And that's not to say that there aren't a, a couple more steps 
you know, for someone to, to go through. Listen, as a non-Bermudian purchasing property here, what you'll need is a license to acquire the land. Now, okay. it's, it's a little bit of a process. We, we call it maybe sort of a, a government vetting process, you know, that you'll go right. through. It can take, you know, uh, can, can take a couple of months. Um, and it does also come with a bit of a price tag, you know, now um, for a fraction or for a property within uh, that is zoned tourism, you know, it is about six and a half percent of the purchase price. It can get okay. to as high as 12 percent. You know, so I understand that a little bit more and more cost is involved, but the key to, to remember really with all of this is that it is absolutely possible for anyone that wants to and has the means to buy a property here in Bermuda, uh, please know that it is absolutely possible. And, you know, as well, I think that, um, that you know, that six and a half percent uh, for a license fee within tourism zone properties, you know, that used to be as high as 14 so I wow. say that to say that, you know, the government sees the benefit in, in this as well. And they have worked with us over the years to, you know, sort of minimize cost where they possibly can, uh, you know, make it a little bit more accessible. And, you know, listen, I, I started my career managing fractionals and then started my real estate career with selling fractionals. So right. I have to say they're, they're a part of my wheelhouse. I absolutely love doing them because, you know, they're quite the legacy purchase. You know, it's something that you will buy, you know, for your family to enjoy that will, you know, be inherited by your children. It's just, it's a wonderful product. Um, and, and really, they are typically, you know, located in fantastic resorts. So, right. you know, like, for instance, the Gulf Villas that I have listings for um, and the Harbor Court is in the Tucker's Point property, which is managed by Rosewood, which is a phenomenal hotel brand. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. Now, is, is Picasso or some of their properties there as well? I'm sorry, say again, Christy? Is, does Picasso, do they have some properties? in Bermuda as well. That's another big one in the United yeah. States. In, yeah. I don't think so at the moment. Um, you okay. know, we have, I tell you what, you know, Rosewood was, you know, sort of the first luxury brand uh, to come into Bermuda and sort of, I guess, open up shop uh, for use right. of a better term, you know, in decades. And I think that certainly my own theory is that, you know, other luxury brands were sort of sitting waiting to see what was going to happen right. with Rosewood. And then, you know, so you have seen its success. And so now we have the St. Regis um, okay. here in Bermuda wow. as well. And, you know, Christine, I just feel like we're going to see quite a few more of that. And we are lucky enough as well. Let me um, also say that we are lucky enough to have the Fairmont uh, brand here in right. Bermuda as well. So, you know, these are phenomenal, synonymous brands. And, and, and I think that over time, what we're going to see as well is a lot more of those, you know, uh, uh, Ritz-Carlton and, um, and Four Season brands come on into Bermuda as well. That's certainly my hope anyway. <laughs> well, how exciting. Now, that sounds great. So if one were to visit, which is your favorite place to stay while visiting? Oh, well, and you know, and I th thank you so much for the question, because I got to tell you, if you're in the, the mood for luxury, then I got to say, you know, Rosewood is definitely the creme de la creme. It really is. It's an absolutely beautiful property. And, you know, even when I worked there, we always used to say, you know, others can have the fruit, but we've got the basket. All of that <laughs> means really that there's just everything that you could possibly want in a stay at your fingertips here. You know, the beautiful hotel, the golf course, uh, 18 hole Robert Trent Jones golf course there. Um, the beach club is just, I mean, I remember taking my sister there for dinner a, a few months ago and she said, my gosh, buddy, even the sand is perfect. So, right. you know, <laughs> I love yes. that. Yeah. And then there's also some, you know, on the other side of the island, um, Cambridge Beaches is just, it's an older property. And when I say older, I just mean it's been around for a long time. Um, but wow, I mean, their positioning is just absolutely incredible. They are at a fantastic little peninsula um, of the island. And they even have uh, uh, villas that are waterfront with private access and private wow. pools. 
Um, the reefs property as well also has fractional um, fractional shares, but they sit right on the south coast. And I mean, you know, I got to say their staff, you know, if you're, you know, you can just feel it that every time you're there, their staff are just so happy to serve you. You know, they're oh. just very rewarded, a happy group of people, and it makes makes the experience all that much more powerful. Absolutely. Oh, my God. Well, this it, I, I could talk to you for hours and hours and live vicariously. I'll have to plan a trip to come see you soon and see your lovely island. And thank Please. you so much for this. It's really been a pleasure. How can people get in touch with you? Oh, please. And thank you so much. Um, you know, my yeah. email, um, you know, through the Keller Williams um, network, of course, um, I am the director of luxury for uh, Keller Williams here in Bermuda. And my email is buddy.fleming at kwbermuda.com. Um, and of course, my cell um, is 441-799-6943. And I can always as well, um, it's all up on my social media um, and I can certainly shoot you some um, some direct um, uh, channels as well to that for you, that, Christine. That would be great. I'll put those in the yeah. show notes. But anyway, this has been a pleasure. Thank you so much, buddy. Thank you. I'll talk to you soon. Thank you. And hopefully okay. I'll see you soon. I hope so. We'll roll out the red carpet for so you. Okay. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I look forward to it. Thanks so much.